What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Anthony McLemore and in this video I want to talk about how you can turn your passion as a teenager into a full-blown profitable business that can hold you over all the way into retirement so that you never have to enter into the nine to five life. That may sound like wishful thinking but if you follow the simple steps in this video I guarantee you that you'll be able to take whatever great idea that you have or whatever area that you're passionate about and turn that into an amazing business. If you think you'll find any kind of value in this video then tap that like button for your boy and also if you go down to the description and use the public link they will give you a free stock just for signing up and opening up an account and the first thing that i want to discuss really quickly when you're trying to turn your passion into a business is the actual power of a good idea and what i learned from a book i read a while ago called thinking grow rich is that if you have the power to think something if you have the power to imagine something you have the power to achieve it so i think it is very important not to underestimate the power of a good idea no matter how quirky how unique how unheard of that idea may be that single idea could potentially change the world one day and with as much creativity as there is online today there are so many chances to work with other creators there are so many chances to work with other people in order to bring a good idea to life every single successful business from the amazons to the apples to the youtubes all of these businesses started with one good idea so there should be nothing holding you back from bringing your good idea into the business life and allow it to fuel your entire life with money and prosperity and success and whatever you want to call it until it is your day to leave this earth so that's what i want to mention very briefly first and for the rest of this video i want to talk about the five main characteristics that your idea would need to have in order to be a surefire success and the very first thing that you want to think about when you're trying to turn your passion into a profit or your idea into a business is whether or not that idea meets a real need or a real desire so in order for an idea to work and in order for a business to function your product or your service has to meet a real need or a real desire even if it solves a simple problem in people's lives such as a shower cap not getting people's hair wet then there will be a market for someone who is willing to pay for that convenience so the very first thing that you want to think about is what need or what desire does your product solve if it is a need-based business then you really want to hone in on how efficiently is your product or your service solving that need for example if you want to start a business more on lawns then this technically i would say solves both a need and a desire for a small group of people the need that it solves is that people need their lawn more and the desire that it solves is the desire not to go out and do it themselves so when you're thinking about whether your business idea solves a need or a desire, you don't have to be discouraged if it's not a revolutionary business idea. If it is something that is simple that you can compound on with more customers, then it definitely will qualify to move on to the next steps. But the next characteristic that your good idea would need to have is that it would need to offer something different or something new for it to have an almost immediate success. So when I say it has to offer something new, I don't mean it has to be absolutely revolutionary, but I mean that it has to have some form of a unique factor in order for your potential customers to distinguish it from what is already on the market. So this could be something just as simple as branding. This could be something as simple as offering a different type of customer service, but whatever it is about your good idea, when you want to make a business around it and you want it to be as successful as possible in the very beginning, you wanna make sure that you're introducing something new so that your customers are excited about your product or your service. Now, most of the time, this is easier said than done because there's over 8 billion people on the planet right now and it seems like everything that you think of has probably already been thought of and made already. But as a wise man in the name of Dr. Seuss once said, no one can do what you do exactly the way that you do it. And you being yourself and you having your own unique spin on things can absolutely be the things that people relate more to your product and not relate as much to other products. So don't be discouraged if you can't find anything different or anything new about your good idea. Just find a way to put your own personality into it and that just may be enough in order to get it off the ground and get it rolling forward into the business environment. But the next thing that you want to think about is whether or not your product is grounded in reality or if it is just wishful thinking so when you have your good idea that you want to turn into a business you want to make sure that you're not being too ambitious and that your idea is actually realistic so i'm not saying that you shouldn't have any ambitions to change the world but in order to be as effective as possible when you're just starting out you want to make sure that you can at least take incremental steps in order to accomplish your business objective so just coming up with the idea that you want to make the world a better place may be a great idea on paper however if you can't place some concrete methods and some steps in place in order to achieve this goal then overall the success and longevity of your business may end up suffering and a great way to make sure that you're not being overly ambitious and that you're able to accomplish the goals that you set out to accomplish is by making smart goals or s-m-a-r-t and the acronym of smart stands for specific goals measurable goals achievable goals which is what we're focusing on now relevant goals to your actual business and time specific goals giving you a specific timeline to achieve them so i believe that if you make s-m-a-r-t or smart goals there is a low chance that you'll find yourself being 
being too overly ambitious because you'll have a good set of rules bounding you to your specific objective. And the next characteristic and honestly one of the most characteristics that your business idea will need to have is it would have to have the ability to make money. Now I'm sure all of us have a lot of different passions and some of the passions that we have no matter how hard we try will never be able to generate any sort of revenue because it just doesn't provide a lot of value to people's lives. I may have a passion for reading a lot of finance books but unless someone wants to hear me reading it to them or unless someone wants to pay me for reading their book I probably won't get paid for reading self-help books about myself. That is just a simple fact of it and by that token I probably won't be able to make a successful business around me reading books for myself or me reading books for entertainment. So when you do have your good idea one of the characteristics must be that it has to have a way to generate revenue. You have to have a way to make money for it to be a great business. So let's take me reading books again for example. If I do like reading personal finance books one of the things that I may be able to do to turn this into a business would be to then relay what I learned in those personal finance books into a sort of streamable content like what you see here on this YouTube channel. In that way I'll be able to make money from YouTube ads, I'll be able to make money from sponsors and endorsements and then that will be sort of a better business structure in order to get that idea off the ground. So just because your idea on the surface may not make sense to make money with, with some tinkering and with some creative changes, I am certain that you may be able to think of a way in order to start to monetize your thoughts. However the last step to turning your passion into a business probably the most important and that is that your business idea has to be something that you want to do. Now if your business idea is truly your passion then you won't have a problem with this but if you find yourself chasing a dollar bill and only doing a business because you see other people making a lot of money with it then as I said earlier the longevity and the success of your business will suffer. If you want your business idea to have the best chance of being successful as possible you have to ground it in something that you would think about or pursue if no one gave you any money for it. If you would still try to accomplish this goal that you're setting out to achieve and no one cared about what you were doing and you would still do it anyway then that is the passion necessary to have the most successful business. Now people have made money from doing businesses that they don't really care about in the past and I'm sure they'll continue making money in that way in the future but what I'm talking about is having a business with the best foundation with the best core values as possible. You want to root those values in your passion. For example one of my passions is learning about personal finances and teaching people in my age group and peer group how to improve their personal finances as well and that was the whole reason why I created this YouTube channel. When I first got started I made over 100 150 videos without getting paid a single cent and because I was passionate about it I just kept going and after that the rest is history. So root your business idea in your passion and the success and revenue will follow. And with all that being said I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope this video puts you on the road to turning your passion into a profit and getting into the environment of self-employment. Being a full-time self-employed individual is a dream of mine as well so by following some of the methods presented in this video I'm sure that we all will be able to achieve those dreams if they are the ones that we have. However if you did find value in this video then drop a like on the video for your boy and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. Also don't forget to go down to the description and sign up to public where if you sign up they will give you a free stock just for signing up. No deposit any money for it, no strings attached, just sign up and get the free money and with that being said I'll see you in the next one guys.